Comeback Kid by Baby Audio is a powerful new delay effect that allows you to get any kind of flavor delay you want in your music. From the more old school analog emulation style delay to something digital and pristine, Comeback Kid covers it all. Right now you're hearing some music without any Comeback Kid on. I'm gonna activate a few instances of Comeback Kid right now. And notice how the track opens up and we get a nice sense of space and dimension. So let's start off with our keys sound. Right now we have Comeback Kid on there. We can click this button to make the interface a little larger, which is nicer to see. And we've also got some color options we can choose from. I'm gonna start us off with the output section. We have control over the wet volume, which is the delay effect. Turning it down basically bypasses the effect. We can control the dry. We have a ducker. This ducks the wet out of the way while the dry plays. Right now the ducker's all the way down and you notice things get kind of confusing. It's hard to tell what is the original sound and what is the delay. If we turn the ducker up, the delay moves out of the way while the original signal plays. And at extreme values, we nearly lose the delay. But if we bring it right about the middle, we kind of get the best of both worlds. We hear our delay, but we also hear our dry very clearly. This destiny control just sort of randomizes all the parameters of our delay. I'm gonna turn that on. This gives our delay a more lifelike, organic feel. Let's now take a look at the main section, which is the time and the feedback. Feedback determines how many delays we get and how long they last. Higher levels means more repeats, lower levels, fewer repeats. Put this right about there. Time allows us to control how quickly those delays happen. I'm set to quarter notes right now. We can have a synced eighth note, 16th note, so this fits nice with our music and our rhythm. Put it back to quarter note. We can do dotted notes. We can do triplet feels. And we can even do a free, which is just time-based, which is unsynced. And as we turn the knob, we can hear some cool tape emulation sounds like an analog delay would have. I'm gonna put this back to straight quarter notes. Ping pong controls whether or not we hear the delay bouncing from the left and right ears in our headphones or our speakers. I think I'll leave that on for this sound. Let's have a look at our shaper. We can control the sound of our delay. So I'm gonna turn down the dry right now so we can really focus on our delay sound and hear what these controls do. So if I cut the low, take the low cut down and take the high cut down all the way up, we get the full spectrum of the frequencies, but we can cut out some of these sounds to sculpt our delay to fit our mix. I've thinned it out a little. Attack and sustain, these change the duration of our delays. They're very effective for sculpting the sound. Put these right about halfway each. Sounds very nice. Now we'll move on to our stereo. Wider gives us a wider stereo image, and this is especially apparent when we have the ping pong control all the way up. Let's turn it all the way down so we can see that we get a narrower field. If we want a completely narrow field, we'll just turn on mono. Turn off ping pong, and our delay goes right up the middle. I'm gonna put ping pong back on. I'm gonna turn mono off, and we're gonna make this nice and wide. Richer is kind of like a chorus effect. If we turn this off, you can hear how that's changed the character of the delay. For this sound, I like it quite a lot. And we can pan our delay to either the left or the right channel. But for this, we want it right up the middle. Next, we'll look at the flavor. The cheap control mimics old school low budget digital delays by engaging an 11 bit signal path. So it makes a kind of lo fi old school sound, which I particularly like for this particular song. Tape is an analog style saturation. So you can hear we get some noise in there, a little bit of tape hiss and a little bit of distortion. If we bring this down just a little bit, we get a nice crunch without overdoing it. Swirl is almost like a phaser as if your tape was a little bit misaligned. 
And this can be nice for kind of psychedelic dreamy effects. I'm gonna dial this down a little bit, but leave the effect in there some. And sauce is a reverb that is applied after the delay. And this kind of just smooths everything out and pushes the delay back into the distance a bit. Put that right about there. And let's turn our dry back up. And our ducker so that the delay moves out of the way a little bit. And next, let's listen to some of the other sounds. On our clap here, I've put a comeback kid so we get this nice movement in our clap. And it's an eighth note triplet sound. We can make this maybe repeat a little longer. We can bring it back down. That's up to taste. So that adds a little dimension to the drums. On this sound, we've got some automation. I'm automating the time of our delay. And this has given us those kind of like pitching up and down sounds that you hear. And this is a nice effect to just give this otherwise pretty static sound some life. Turn on our delay. And now we've got all this extra stuff happening for a nice effect. So I'm gonna turn off the delay and we'll listen to this loop in one pass. No delay is happening now. It lacks a little excitement. Now I'm gonna turn on the delay notice that those keys really just spread out very wide. That clap bounces back and forth. Get those nice analog tape sounds. So that's Comeback Kid. It's a really powerful delay tool that'll get you some of the more pristine digital sounds if you like, or some more old school analog sounds with a little extra flavor that you don't always see on your delay plugins. Be sure to head over to babyaudio.io to check out Comeback Kid or follow the link in the description.